Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to be talking about AMP, Accelerated Mobile Pages, and how you can support this in your Next.js apps. Now, if you've never dealt with AMP before, don't worry, I'm gonna cover a small snippet of what AMP is, where it was introduced, and of course, why you should use it. Then we're gonna get into the code and talk about AMP, how to implement a pure AMP site, and then also how to implement a hybrid version where you can get AMP support with one URL and regular HTML with the other. So before we get into the code, we should really talk about what Accelerated Mobile Pages or AMP is and why it came about. So AMP, which was introduced after publishers and developers had a discussion. Um, essentially, it's an open source project that you can use and it's a way of taking a page and loading it almost instantaneously and the reason behind this was, was they felt that why did every page load really slowly when I used my mobile phone, except for when I use my desktop, it's almost instantaneous. Even when people started using responsive websites, it didn't really change. So the benefits, obviously, I've already talked about speed matters. It basically says that if your page loads slower than a competitor, most than likely, the user is actually going to go to the competitor's website because it loads almost instantaneously. On top of that, it uses less data. So if you're on a small LTE package, you don't have to consume all of your data to read that news article. So I guess the question is, who uses AMP? And there are plenty of people out there. Um, the Times uses it. India Times uses it. Google ranks almost any site that uses it. So AMP has really taken off recently. Um, even though static pages is becoming more and more popular with developers, standard WordPress sites can actually use the AMP accelerated version to create a fast responsive website, even if their server is slightly slower than serving up a static site. So now we've kind of talked about what AMP is and why it was introduced, let's get into some code. So here we are in our code. And what I've done is just created a default Next.js app and removed all of the junk that they include. And then added an H3 that says this is an AMP page. So to begin with, to start actually using AMP, we need to export a const config. And that config is basically gonna tell Next.js that we wanna use AMP. So you just type the word AMP and then true. And this means that this will be a fully AMP page, not a hybrid version or anything like that, just straight AMP only. So now what we can do is do an image here. So you just do AMP image. And then inside of the AMP image, we have to at minimum set the width. So let's set that to 300. The height as well has to be included. If you don't include this, it will not work. And that's just part of the requirements for AMP in general. Then we need the source. So let's do the source as slash for sale dot SVG. And then an alt message. So we'll just say a cool AMP image. And finally, the layout. And we're going to set this to fixed so that we can see the size and we don't have to worry about responsive as this is just an example. So now we've hit save. We can go ahead and run npm dev and then once this has fully loaded in our page here you can see that there's this for sale image it doesn't look any different than any other image you've ever seen in your life except from behind the scenes now when we look at this you can see that there's a bunch of new classes been added to this that we didn't include and that's also included on the body itself right here you can see amp mode mouse and then on the image, you can see the class AMP layout fixed, AMP layout size defined, AMP layout element, etc., etc. And that's because this is an AMP page and there's nothing else different than what you would see with a normal page when you're looking at it, except from we're loading things from AMP. Now, what happens if you wanted to load this as an AMP page sometimes and for other people, you wanted to load the HTML version? Well, Next has your cover for that too. Instead of having to implement two pages, you can actually write if statements essentially that says, if it's AMP, do this. 
If it's not AMP, do that. So let's go back into our code here and take a look at that. So first things first, we actually need to import a file here. And this file essentially just tells uh, Next.js if we're using AMP or not when we load the page. So to do that, you just type use AMP and that's coming directly from Next.js. So there's no imports or installs to do. Then what we can do is change this from true to hybrid. And that hybrid essentially says, hey, sometimes I wanna use AMP, other times I wanna use HTML. Now what we can do is actually say is AMP and then use AMP. And that essentially gives us a true or false statement. So what we can do here is put this inside of a element and make that change. So first, what we can do here is say is amp. Then we can do this. Else we will load a standard HTML here. So now we have that section. Now we can just load in an image. So we just do image and we'll do width is 300. Height is also 300. And we'll do the source. We'll do as cool pick, which is something that I just downloaded off the internet as a JPEG. And we can use that. Assuming I can spell the word JPEG, we can use it. And then finally, we need the alt tag here and we'll call it a cool pick. And then we can close that out and save. And now what we'll have, if we go back to our layout here, is you can see that this, this picture has changed. So before we were using the for sale right here, and then here we're using the cool pick. So what's happening here is it's loading the default URL and you can actually tell it whether or not to use AMP or not by doing slash and then AMP equals one. And now we've loaded the AMP page instead. And if you just load the regular URL, you get your old image back. So this is a way for Next.js to give you the option to do both. You can either load the AMP page or you can load the standard page. And depending on that URL depends on what somebody gets. And I just use these images as an example. Obviously you would have AMP based stuff in your AMP tertiaries and then obviously your regular HTML in general. So there we have it guys, a simple AMP implementation using Next.js. As you can see, it's super simple to implement AMP and I would advise that you use it. Obviously, in some cases, AMP is not applicable, but if you're just launching a blog or a simple static landing page, using AMP could improve your SEO, and it could also reduce the amount of data that someone uses every time they log onto that site. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to drop it a like, subscribe to the channel if you wanna see more web development in the future, and of course, until next time, see ya.